All right, so today we're gonna check out something very cool twin motion importer for Unreal Engine, which is right now in beta. And we're gonna use this project that I've built in twin motion. And we're going to export that into Unreal and see how this stuff works. Basically, this plugin can import twin motion files into Unreal but in order to do that we need to install it first so if you go here to external link you'll be able to download i'm using 425 but you can use uh, any of those uh, i'm still using 425 because i have many projects that needs to be recompiled with this ray tracing thing i don't have ray tracing on my graphic card so i still bake lighting all right now uh I've downloaded that and I have unzipped. So when you're going to download and unzip, you're going to get three of those folders. So what you need to do is just copy three of them and go to your uh, program files, Unreal Engine, Epic Games, and then choose Unreal Engine. Uh, I'm going to choose 425, Engine, Plugins, and here we're going to do a new folder call it twin motion and copy three of those files in there all right so the files were copied now we can uh, go and close our twin motion i'm not going to save that and i'm going to open my unreal engine and we're going to choose architectural and engineering construction click next Let's take this ArcViz template here, click next, no start and content, and uh, I'm going to use ray tracing disabled. Let's call it house and create project. Now, once we open that, we need to go and let's remove the notes and the terrain. So as you can see here, it's got some uh, sample samples in it so we don't need that I'm going to remove that click delete and here uh, we also need to manage plugins we got the message here manage plugins so either settings plugins or click on this manage plugins and we got this uh, data smith and porter twin motion base and twin motion content so in order to make sure you got three of them just type in here twin motion and we got one two three okay now click restart now let's uh, save and okay now we have our plugins up and running so what we can do is click on data smith uh, go and choose our house content I'm gonna use this house too and we're gonna import that into the main folder of content and we're gonna use everything materials lights geometry cameras animations everything they've got there let's do import okay so this was brought in we have quite few unsupported materials some static mesh assets unsupported so i guess it didn't brought this stuff in okay now let's see if we have any cameras here oh yeah we do have some cameras let's see here camera actor okay so we've got three cameras and uh in cinematic we've got yeah the cameras are not matching so we can see that and we didn't get any vegetation and any of the landscape that also didn't go through which is a bummer let's see what we have here 
We have another sequence that I did into in motion. Oh, okay, cool. So I did uh, like a sun, you know, uh, run through like 24 hours. And that was, yeah, it was pretty cool. Oops. I like the sunset. So those came out all right, but we didn't get any any textures. Uh, just only on the walls, and uh, let's see inside if we got the glass is looking great. By the way, I like the way the glass looks. So, and this glass also. So some of them kind of came through pretty good. Everything glass related. But I think it needs a little bit more time to compile everything. It doesn't show that it's compiling. It looks like it's done. You know, but uh, this stuff, this stuff is cool. You know, you can work with it. You can, uh, let's go and check out um, the light maps. If we can bake lighting for this. Oh wow, what happened here? <laughs> the light maps got. Hmm. Yeah, it needs some work. Needs some work, but it's doable. And I'm not sure why they all crooked like that. Maybe that's uh, that's okay if we're still going to enlarge. But that's supposed to be, you know, nice and uh, like this wimple, those squares. Supposed to be aligned properly. Some of them looking good. But here it's a little weird. How those light maps. But maybe it's okay when we bake lighting. We just need to make a baked uh, test and see how this stuff works. But besides that, this is how you use this cool plugin. It's still in beta but at least it gave you some idea of how you can export your twin motion files into unreal and make much better quality you know with uh, ray tracing or light baking in unreal engine you can get really nice hyper realistic stuff all right so this is how you use this plugin in order to bring your models into unreal engine from twin motion i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation Upcoming twin motion for architecture training will be out next week. So make sure to follow. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Alex. Talk soon. Ciao.